Hello again, this is 888888, and here's just another brief example of why we don't use gutter screens. You've always got to clean your gutters. You can use the gutter screens to kind of keep debris out of the gutters as long as you're checking them and cleaning them every six months or so. Most homeowners put these things in, you get them at Home Depot or Ace Hardware or wherever, and they put them up and they forget about them. They're these little middle grid screens you can kind of see in this gutter. And when we step on the ladder, Saxon, you'll see what's happened here. Now she's got some roof rot, this particular homeowner, and it's rotted all the fascia boards in this whole corner right here. So we've got to rebuild it from this corner here all the way back. But when you get up on the ladder, you'll kind of get a feel for what happens with this stuff. This is all dry rot. And there's a couple things going on here with this roof. When they put the roof in, this is your fascia board right here, and you can see it's all rotted down in that corner. They hip the gutter to flow from about midway that way and then midway back this way to the rear of the house. But because they didn't put drip guard underneath that shingle edge, capillary action sucks a little bit of the, the rainwater, whenever it rains, up the back edge of the shingle until it hits something. If we put metal drip guard in there, which is a real you know cheap piece, it's not expensive. You can do a whole house for a couple hundred dollars, two, three hundred dollars. But without it, it causes all this rot in here. And you can see where her last row of shingles, you see that divot in the roof right there? That's because the decking there is rotted now. So that needs to be replaced as well. So unfortunately, and when you get up here, and hopefully I won't fall, see all that silt in the bottom? That's what we talk about grit and granules from the roof line. Every time it rains, gradually over time, hail damage will knock those grits off of the shingles. It winds up in your gutter. So whether you've got gutter guard, gutter helmet, or these little screens, you wind up with that silt that forms kind of a sludge mud at the bottom of the gutters. This is an aluminum gutter. We can save the gutter, but she's got a bit of work to do here. Uh, but you can see how the debris is just sunken in over the top of these gutters all the way down. So we got some heavy rains coming here tomorrow. So we're just going to try and temporarily put this back together for her. Uh, but here's a real good example of why you don't use these gutter screens. These are They had screens all the way through and all that debris fell, fell through. But if you got them on your house and you're, you know willing to clean them every six months or so you don't want to do it call us we'll do it for you in fact here's the drip guard right here when they put this porch on the back roof there's your metal drip guard so whoever did that roof did it right you can see it right there but anything you need on a house handy andy does it all from little handyman type repairs honey do lists uh, to full house remodels renovations paint you name it we do it give us a call 770-912-2829 take care bye bye now